So I did a video on what to do if someone's always cutting you off, but what if you cut other people off? This is Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. This is Kathy Bartuli from WatchAndSeeDojo.com. What, what is the warning saying again? Wow, we're going to go right there. All right. I thought you were going to actually start. No, what? <laughs> You're cutting me off. No, I don't do that. So <laughs> I know that there's times I get really excited and I don't mean to, or someone might be a slow processor compared to, like, I tend to... You get really excited, and then you just want to jump in. <laughs> I'll think they're done, and I'll start talking. And you just agree with them, and you're like, that was so smart. <laughs> or I'll finish their sentences. Oh. And I hate that I do that. And it's hard. Like, I have to really, like, catch myself and realize that just because they're processing at a different speed, I'm not really helping them by finishing for mm -hmm. them or, or interjecting. And that... I love that you say, you know, people really just want to be seen and heard. And so if I can just slow down and be present with them and let them go with their speed. Mm -hmm. um, and I apologize if I can. I'm like, hey, sorry, like I'm a little hyper today or something. Acknowledging that I've been cutting them off and apologize. And then try to bring myself back to ground. I love um, Olivia Fox Carbine talks about being present with your toes because mm -hmm. it brings your energy into your body. And, like, you can even count their eyelashes because it will help you, like, your brain. Do you chose have eyelashes? No, it was a different sentence. Oh, got it. Did you not see the period? No, I did not see your verbal period. Oh. <laughs> if you look at their, you, you want to be looking at their eyes. And the busy part of our brain needs something to do sometimes. So, like, counting their eyelashes or noticing all the colors in their eyes, like, because most people have lots of different shades. Um, will give the busy part of your brain something to do while you're actually paying attention to the words and letting them process the way they need mm -hmm. to. Do you have any? I mean, the main thing is when I when I get excited and cut people off, um, I'll if I notice that I did it, I'll be like, ah, oh, I totally just cut you off. What should we do now? Either and I'll either they'll say no, finish your thought. And I'll finish it or I just kind of hand it back over. Mm -hmm. Usually acknowledging that you cut somebody off or that you got so excited you jumped in will usually mean a lot to a lot of people because sometimes the people who get cut off all the time never speak up about it. They're mm -hmm. just so resigned yeah, about it at this point. Okay. So you being like, you know, oh my God. And uh, I'd be like, ah, I totally cut you off. I'm sorry. I just got excited. Please continue. That will help, and it'll help you start to practice noticing when you cut people off, um, and then apologizing and, and, and handing the talking stick back over to them. That's really great. The other thing that will happen for me when I'm in really geeky conversations with people is I'll have an idea that I'm like, ah, if I don't, if I don't put a post-it note on it, I'll forget it because we're deep in the geeking. Yeah. So sometimes I'll be like, just post-it note on this idea, and then I'm like, and then back to you. And that's a much different kind of cutting off. And it's an acknowledgement. You're, you're not just like stepping on them. And, but that also already kind of admits that we have a certain kind of flow. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm just trying to make sure I don't forget this point. Yeah. So everyone's different. And owning, and just, to, just noticing, noticing that you have a problem <laughs> is the beginning of the solution. <laughs> We'd love to know what you do. How do you feel when someone cuts you off? And how do, what do you do when you cut somebody off? Leave comments below and let us know.